Okay, hello. Um, uh, this is Miguel Mendoza uh, from Caracas, Venezuela, and one of the uh, co-moderators for the podcasting for the ESL EFL Classroom session. And what I want to do is to show you a little bit some of the tools that we're going to be using um, to communicate and also for you to do uh, most of the activities uh, for, this, um, for this session. So the first one that I want to show you is the uh, Yahoo Groups. And this um, uh, tool or platform is going to be important because it's the one that we're going to be using uh, for uh, sending announcements or clarifying doubts and for you to answer questions or ask questions and also for sharing some of the tasks that you're going to be doing for um, the following uh, weeks, for the following five uh, weeks or so. Um, so I want to start here by showing you the conversation section, section, which is right here. See, this is the conversation conversation sections. I don't know if you're familiar with Yahoo Groups, but it's different now. So I'm going to show you, uh, for example, if you want to send a message, how you do that. It's very easy. All you have to do is to click here on New Topic, and you write the subject, and then you write your message here, and you click here to send. And that's all you're going to do. Uh, another important uh, thing here is going to be photos. Here you're going to be sharing your pictures. And here I added a picture of one of uh, our participants from 2013 to be able to create the album. So all you've got to do is to click here on participants. You click here on add picture. And well, you choose the picture, uh, right? And uh, that's it. And that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so I'm going to cancel here. Uh, another important um, thing that you're going to be using uh, and it's important for you is files because um, here uh, we are going to be creating uh, folders for you to share some of your tasks and also here you're, you're going to find different basic uh, folders that are going to be important for this um, for this session another um, element that we're going to be using is links and in links um, we are going to be using it as well for you to share some of the tasks that you will have to do for this session. And there is another one which is a database. And this is important because here you're going to share information about yourself. So if we click here on the contact lists, you are going to share your name, your email, where you're from, your Skype ID, Twitter handle, your website if you have any, and the institution you are working in. And to do that, to add information about yourself, is very easy. You click here on Edit Table, and here on this column you are going to add your very own information, and then you click here on Save. And uh, that's pretty much it um, from uh, the Yahoo Groups. Okay, so this is another platform that we're going to be using for our session Blogger. And in Blogger we created um, three uh, blogs, the session blog, the activity blog, and the reading blog. In the session blog you're going to find a description of the session, similar to the one you have in our Yahoo groups, the starting date, which is important, the syllabus, which is also available in our Yahoo groups, moderators, mentor, um, a link for our Yahoo groups, Twitter, guest map, and sponsors. Also, you're going to find here from week one to week five objectives or activities that you're going to be doing each week, a link to our live sessions. Sessions are going to be each Saturday. Um, and also a, a button for you to uh, be taken to the blog, to the activity blog, uh, to do all the activities related to, for example, week one. And the same thing goes for week two, week three, and week five. Let me show you week five. And once again, here you have uh, objectives or activities, live session, and a button that, I, that button that is going to take you to the activities for week five. <coughs> Media and tools. Uh, these are all the uh, web tools that we're going to be using uh, during the session. Uh, and the moderators, you're going to find the description of the moderator, uh, the website, email, Twitter handle, and also a um, an audio uh, where you're going to listen to uh, the moderator saying hi to you. So if I click here, for example, um, you're going to listen to something there. And right there, I'm going to say hello to everybody. 
Okay, let's have a look at the activity blog. In the activity blog, you are going to find labels here, and they're going to be identified. Uh, they're going to be identified as week one, week two, week three, and on each week, you are going to find all the activities that you were supposed to do that week. Um, also, you've got here a general description of of this blog, and uh, and that's pretty much it. If we go to the reading blog. Uh, which we're going to start using the reading blog from week two on and right here you're going to find all the readings that are going to be related to podcast podcasting and also experiences from teachers uh, that are going to inspire you for the projects that you're going to be working uh, with from week two on as well and uh, well that's pretty much it let's go back to yahoo groups i hope you learn a lot and have fun during our session <laughs>